Good morning, everybody. We are at Gigi's house. My mom back here with Tiana, who will be attached to her hip the entire time. Um, John and I actually drove up yesterday, and we're here because it's a special day we've told you about before. Hey, you, you're dodging me. I know. You're, do I know. you're dodging me on my own vlog. It's Tyler's Police Academy graduation day. How long have you been at the Police Academy? 21 weeks. 21 weeks. So it's finally graduation time, and they're going to have like a big ceremony today and everything. And then um, we'll probably like go out to lunch after. So this is Carly, Tyler's girlfriend. And yeah, Tyler. that's where we'll just be hanging out this morning and um, eating some donuts for breakfast. Thank you for the donuts. You're welcome, sweetheart. Vegan donuts for the win. So every time we come to Charlottesville, we try to find out what new vegan places there are and if there's ever vegan donuts because the place that had them left. And Duck Donuts now makes vegan donuts. They're so freaking good. They don't come with the sheriff badges in the box. That's just for Tyler. There you go. Thank you the so cup's much. Hot. The cup's hot. Ah! <laughs> I told you. I told you the cup's hot. Gosh. I was trying to hold it in for the vlog, but I couldn't make it any longer. Why would you make, why would you make me lava coffee? What comes after four? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So we're gonna find a five. We are basically graduation ready. My mom's finishing getting dressed right now, and Tiana's with her doing her makeup. Um, but I wanted to show you guys her gift that we wrapped and flash back to before we wrapped it and before we left our house and tell you about it because we are very excited to give it to her and she's gonna love it. We are currently packing for Gigi's house. We cannot wait to leave tomorrow, but I wanted to show you this painting that we have on the wall here, which is our gift for Gigi. And if you're wondering why we have Gigi's gift on our wall, it's because Tiana insisted that we try it out before we bring it to her. We ordered this painting from Paint Your Life where you can get hand-painted portraits created from any photo you choose at an affordable price. You can also combine photos of people and places you love all into one painting. You get to choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. The Paint Your Life platform is super user-friendly and makes it easy to order a hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. This is actually hand painted. I have the video of the artist painting it. It is super cool. And then it was framed before we even got it. These paintings make the perfect gift for any holiday or celebration you can think of. They're meaningful, personal, and can be cherished forever. We cannot wait to see the surprise on Gigi's face when we gift her this gorgeous painting. I know she is absolutely gonna love it. If you wanna order a painting for yourself or a loved one, head over to paintyourlife.com or click the link in the description below to get yours today. And ordering off paintyourlife.com is no risk because if you don't love the final painting, you get your money refunded guaranteed. Thank you again, Paint Your Life, for sponsoring this video. Oh, I can't wait, I'm so excited, thank you. Okay. Okay. Start here. Mm -hmm. right. Oh! Oh! Wow! Look at us! Do you remember when we took that? Yes! Oh my gosh, it's us! I love it! Thank you for sharing this with me. It's absolutely beautiful. Can I do a good job? Yeah, look at us! Oh, look at you. Look over here. And I already thought, because I saw a spot, that you could put it over uh, there. Yes, man. Wouldn't that be the best spot? It's perfect. Okay. Oh, you guys can hold it up and we'll see. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to get another one because I almost wanted to keep it. Once I got it, I like, oh my gosh, we are so cute. Look at us. Oh. oh <laughs> oh, get through. You better stop it. <laughs> okay, now we have to go to the graduation. We're on our way to the graduation, which is about an hour away in Wires Cave, Virginia, but we have to drive through Charlottesville, Virginia, which is where John and I lived basically since we met until we left Virginia. Yeah, it's crazy how much it's changed there. Like we're driving through right now, like the main part of the city, and there's so many new stores and like gas stations. It's just like, it almost looks completely different in some in some areas. Yeah, it exploded. And we were just talking about how like, we had talked about buying a house when we were younger oh, look, look, and lived look. here. Gold's Gym is closed down. Oh my gosh. That was the OG place where like, 
everyone wanted to work out when we lived here. Do you remember that? It yes. was like the cool place to yeah. work out. And we talked about buying a house when we were like younger and we lived here and then we didn't because we were like, oh, we don't want to live here forever. And then we thought we don't want to be like stuck in a house or whatever. We didn't re understand like rentals and stuff. But now if we would have bought mm. a house, like a townhouse or something, it would be worth, you think, double by now? Oh, If for we sure. bought maybe, it back in 2010. Maybe triple, but I was just thinking, fun fact, we didn't go to Gold's Gym because we couldn't afford it. Like, oh, we were still yeah. in savings mode and, like, being super frugal. So, Gold's Gym was, like, the gym to go to, but it was <laughs> a higher cost. In fact, f another fun fact, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, has a house near Charlottesville, Virginia, in Keswick, and he would work out at that Gold's Gym, uh, but eventually he became too famous and he just couldn't go there anymore. But, yeah, fun fact. Yeah, I forgot he lived here. Yeah. And we went to Snap Fitness, in case you're wondering where we went instead, because it was a lot cheaper. And we went to Gold's only if our friends had like a free pass for a, a guest treat. and brought us there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just, it's so weird like being back here um, because we've been gone for almost 10 years now. And every time we come back once in a while, we just like, everything's different and we just reminisce. Oh, you know what's right over here? What? Like not even like a quarter mile from here. The first place we lived together. Oh my gosh. Should we show you guys real quick? Mess. Now it's actually a really nice spot, but um, when they built these, they were going to sell them, but the market had turned because it was back around the 2008, 2008 2009 yeah. market. So we actually got this for super cheap and it was a super nice place, which, you know, it kind of set the bar too high for the next places we had to Yes, because we were so young. Like yeah. I was 18 and John was like 20 or 21. So yeah, let's show, let's show them. Let's show okay. them real quick. Okay. I said Wires Cave and it's actually Weir's Cave. I always mess that up, but John didn't correct me because he just told me he learned something and I wanted to tell you too. Yeah, so I saw it was interesting. I think it might've been like a TikTok or a YouTube short, but it said that like for your significant other um, or partners, you shouldn't interrupt them for small details because it just annoys them and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. So like if someone was like, hey, we went to dinner and had a great time yesterday. We left there around one o'clock. And you interrupt your partner to say, no, we actually left at 115. It kind of is just ignoring, and it is annoying, and the detail really doesn't matter. So just some like little couple's insight that I learned about, and I'm I'm working on myself. I like that because I, I interrupt for stupid details too, so I'm really gonna look, think look. about that. Oh my God, it looks exactly the same. All right, Literally turn, exactly the same. Turn this around because remember this side wasn't done. Oh my gosh, but no, what do you feel right now being back here? It feels weird, but you know what's funny? is right. I used to have a moving company. If y'all are new to following us, uh, my first business was a moving company, and I used to park my box truck right where that box truck is. That is really because weird. Because these weren't here, and only this side was built. And we lived in 2439. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so weird. I feel right now like it looks foreign, but it's so familiar because we lived here for a year, and... The trees are bigger. And they the finished, trees are they out finished front. the playground up on top. Oh my God. It is really weird. This feels crazy. We got to show you guys. Okay. <laughs> Mommy and daddy actually used to live right here when we first met. Isn't that cool? And do you remember Beamer? Mm -hmm. This is where we got Beamer. Hey, am I, am I more important than the phone? Mm, guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana's had a lot of travel the past two days, so we're going to give her a pass and yes. just let her hang. All right, let's check it out. All right, and that's the box truck I was talking about. I literally used to back my box truck up right in that spot, and none of these units were built yet. So all of those are new, or at least new to us. So there it is. The first place Rihanna and I lived together. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? And then from here, I wish we had time, we, we could show them where we moved to next. So this place was about $1,100 a month at the time. Now it's probably like $3,000 a month if you were to rent it. And we had a roommate, his name was Jansen, who helped us split rent. Um, so that's how we were able to afford it when we were younger. But then from here, we moved to a place that was like $600 a month. Do you yeah. remember that? <laughs> oh, those were little baby trees. They had just planted these trees. Wow. You know what that's really symbolic of is life, like the growth in life. And these trees were little babies and we were little babies whenever we moved here. We were just like out of high school and now the trees have grown and we've grown. Follow Rihanna Ferriero for more motivational content. I'm just like, it's kind of cool because where we started and how far we've came and like everything that's happened in our life, including Tiana. Tiana, but, who literally doesn't care, and she's <laughs> sitting right there in the car watching a movie. <laughs> it's too cold for her. I don't blame her. Yes. Love you. I love you. I'm proud of us. Real quick, Tiana actually decided she does want to see. 
So baby girl, you see this one right here? That's where mommy and daddy first lived together. That was the first place we ever lived. Right there. You want to see it closer? It might be a little weird if people are on. Right here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, what do you want to do now? Go inside. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't go inside. Somebody else lives there now. I know, baby. But would you like to go get a good drink? You really want to go inside? I don't think we can, baby. I think it'd be a little bit weird. No. <laughs> Tiana, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Can I tell you something? Somebody else lives there now. I know, baby. I know, baby. Listen, listen, listen. Listen to me. Other people live there now. We just, we don't live, we don't own this anymore. If we did, I would take you right in. Sean rescued the situation from a potential catastrophe, but in hindsight, we probably shouldn't have told Tiana we're going to see the house mommy and daddy used to live in because I'm sure she just assumed we we're gonna go inside and actually see it. Um, and so that was disappointing, but. Poor baby girl. I know, I know it's sad, but we're back in the car now. Um, we're gonna head to the graduation and find somewhere to get like coffee or tea on the way because I think we're addicted to coffee and tea. Yeah, I, it's a problem. I didn't actually start drinking coffee until I was 34 and I used to never need or want coffee. And I blame you, especially <laughs> buying that coffee machine at the house. And now I feel like I need it. And I think coffee is like a drug. It's like, a, it gets you addicted. Oh, I know, I love the taste though. Like just having like a nice, like hot or cold drink that has a lot of flavor. Maybe we could try like not drinking it, but I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> right, if that's our one like hang up, then that's okay. Yeah, they say coffee, like two or three cups of coffee a day is good for you though, so. Right. Yeah, how many cups of coffee a day do you drink? Comment below so we don't feel so alone or we might end up feeling more alone. Oh man, that lighting is rough. I know, Woo. okay, let's hop off. <laughs> We're having a breakdown in here because she wants to see her mommy. Oh, okay, I'm right here. Congratulations. Thank you. Never thought this little guy right here was like my little brother growing up. Insert picture of you guys like 10 years ago. Oh my oh, God. Lord. Yeah. Let's now see. he's a cop. It's crazy. Yeah. You look Where's good. You? I've never seen you in your uniform. Yeah. You look legit. Thank Can you. I borrow your taser real quick? Rihanna's been talking crap. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so excited for you. Oh, I'm so tall. I know, I feel <laughs> short. Oh. This is crazy. Yeah. They just let anybody become a cop, I Absolutely, guess. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've only been here for a couple hours, actually. <laughs> Did they just find you on the side of the road? Yeah. Oh, we're proud of you. Thank you. This is gonna be cool. We're gonna make the sickest montage of your graduation. Sickest montage. I would add now, and Officer Elijah Brown. Everyone should put it by your heads. And show us in his prayer. Let us pray. The graduating students and the academy staff would like to recognize the contributions made. We can all go back to our jobs better equipped to face new and upcoming situations. Have you counted for it? Congratulations, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is that real? Is that it real? is, yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> We just got to Devil's Backbone Brewery, which is where we're having lunch with everybody before we head home. It's in Wintergreen, Virginia. We had a great time at the graduation. Um, we're actually waiting for everybody to get here, and I wanted to kind of hop on here for a second and talk to you guys about the graduation. And I know that police stuff is controversial, um, like with politics and just in general, especially being brought up over the past few years, all of the issues. And I wanted to make sure 
that you know that we are tending to support my brother because we love him and this has been his dream for a long time. He wants to be a cop. He's wanted to be um, a cop since he was little because he wants to help people and that's always been his answer. But I know that it's kind of a controversial and charged topic. So I wanted to make sure that I address that we do know that and we do understand that and that um, please keep the comments respectful towards my brother um, because we love him and we're really here for him and to celebrate his achievement and him reaching his goal. So yeah i just felt like i needed to say something because it was on my heart and um yeah we're going to have some lunch when everybody gets here and that's it for right now it's beautiful here though we are in like i said wintergreen virginia it's absolutely gorgeous there's like a ton of breweries and wineries out here but they also have a lot of great food so i don't know what we're gonna get yet but we're gonna go check out the menu and i'm um, just kind of hang out before the long drive home All right, so it's obviously the next day. Uh, we got back pretty late last night, but the drive went overall fine. Tiana behaved extremely well. Oh my gosh, she was like so good in her car seat. I can't believe it. Yeah. I, she's doing good on road trips. She's doing really good. I think she's getting more and more used to it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we are gonna do something today that we haven't done in probably almost four years. Yeah, at least. It's crazy. Yeah. We're gonna go see a movie. Ooh at the movie theater and it's snowing outside look at that can you guys believe it? it's snowing in the beginning of november so we decided to see wakanda forever um and we didn't know until just earlier that it's a two hour and 41 minute movie um so hopefully we can make it all the way through it but this is just something we thought about doing we saw the preview the other day and thought it looked mm -hmm. extremely good it's gotten really good reviews and we love the first one yeah so are you ready to go see our first movie in almost four years? Yes, I'm so ready. And um, Tiana was excited to go to school today. So we brought her to school and we're going on our little date and she cannot sit through a movie. So this would be absolutely impossible for her. And also she's noise sensitive, so she can't be in the movie theater anyway. Um, so I do if you're feel guilty. I feel guilty. I know. We'll but, watch it with her when it comes it. out. But yeah. um, we're hoping by the time The Little Mermaid comes out, the new one, she'll be ready for the movies. Yeah. All right. Let's go see it. Okay. It's so cold out there. What did you think? I thought it was really good. It was really good. 10 out of 10. The movie was really good. Go see it. But we haven't been in the theater in a long time and they had reclining seats in there. Yes. And we had the whole theater to ourselves. So I think that part of the experience made it even better. Yeah, it was a great movie to see in a great movie theater. And there was like nobody in there. That movie was amazing. Yeah. Your seats were heated. Yeah. Like you guys may be used to this if you go to the theater a lot, but we haven't been in forever and like reclining heated seats makes Crazy. it worth the price you pay to go to the movies in my opinion now yeah it was really it was really comfortable and none of you better tell tiana that we went to go see a movie without her <laughs> but she would have never made it for she's two gonna hours love that minutes. movie though when it comes out and she can watch it at home oh yeah it was awesome go see it and uh, i think we're gonna wrap up the vlog here yes. thank you guys as always for watching our video and supporting our channel congratulations again to the people that won the two thousand dollar giveaway and uh yeah i don't Aquila and kayla congratulations and we'll see you guys next week wakanda forever Oh, you messed up my- Do you have anything to add? No, you already dodged me. I don't even want to be on the vlog anymore. <laughs> Go talk to Gigi. Maybe Gigi has something to say okay. to the people. Gigi, do you have anything to say to the people? Um, <laughs> you, you, have to, I'm, you have to look right there. What a I'm shy. <laughs> what? You don't want an apple juice? Oh. Tiana Haven. <laughs>